Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to it, my name's Jake, glad to have you here. It's pre-release weekend, we have a new set, Theros Beyond Death, who is so excited? I know I am. Uh, the one thing, so I've opened one of these boxes so far for a uh, sub of the channel, Zach, buddy of mine, and we did pretty good. He didn't get a Euro, a Heliod, or a Thassa, but we did get a super, super sweet full art or alt art, borderless, I don't know what we call it, uh, Calyx, which is, I mean, I thought it was pretty sweet. And then uh, also got a, a Croxa, which I was pretty excited about for him. I certainly want to crack one open. Uh, and in the boxes that I had gotten this round, they are uh, from the, the Japanese printing factory. So... The packs are kind of weird feeling. Um, so definitely not what I'm like typically accustomed to. And they're ordered backwards, which I know that we've seen certainly in like Modern Horizons, um, Modern Horizons booster boxes. So yeah, you can see like they're uh, they're a little, they're a little floppy. But as it were. Still opening some sweet stuff, and I mean, it's a new set. God, it's just so happy. <laughs> so happy. I'm just in my happy place. We're opening new magic sets. The first Aroan games. We'll kind of take our time through the first little bit here uh, so that we can just, you know, enjoy. Uh, this one is for our sub, Mark. And so hopefully we'll do at least as good. Uh, for Mark as we did oh, as we did Zach Arasta of the Endless Web and yeah we're just gonna go through these we'll kind of we'll go a little bit faster this time that first video it uh, it went on for a little bit so we'll try to keep things moving at a reasonable pace this time around Hero of the Games, our first foil. El Elspeth Conquers Death. I've also got to make sure that I'm staying in focus here. I've been having some issues with my camera. Uh, but that art's pretty sweet, right? It's like this mosaic. That's kind of cool. Furious Rise. Unknown Shores and a whole bunch of other commons that we really don't care about. But how has your guys' pre-release been going? Have you been opening some super, super sweet stuff? Ooh, Croxa! Oh, my ch I think my chances of actually opening a Croxa for myself have just been lowered significantly. But I love this. I think this is super fun. I'm very, very excited. Either way, I'm going to pick myself up a Croxa. I'll actually probably just splurge and buy myself the... Um, I don't know. Is there like a full art version of that? There must be, right? Yeah, it's true. There, there must be. Um... Oh, get out of here! Woo! Oh man, Erebos, bleak-hearted, mythic. Uh, it's not foil, but it's a mythic, and it's in that constellation art. God, that looks good. A black and three colorless, indestructible. Uh, as long as your devotion to black is less than five, it's not a creature. Whenever another creature you control dies, you can pay two life. If you do draw a card. And then you can pay to sacrifice another creature. Target creature gets minus two, minus one until end of turn. God, that looks good. How sick does that look? It looks so good. Oh, man. Nice. Field of Ruin in the uncommon slot. It's always a nice one to pull. Fast as Oracle. What does this do? When it enters the battlefield of the top X cards of your library, when your devotion, uh, where X is your devotion to blue, put up to one of them on top of your library and the rest on the bottom in a random order. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. Yep, I'm definitely going to try to brew with that because anything that just wins you the game, uh, I'm on board with. Even if we have to jump through a lot of hoops to get there. Is that... Oh, I saw TH and I thought we got a Thassa, but we did not. Thrix. Still looks pretty sweet though, huh? Alright. Keep moving along here. I must say the pull tab is nice. But, um... I don't know. The loose floppy pack, I'm not a fan of. Nylia's Intervention? You know, I... Zach also got a 
foil land and I've seen some boxes opened you get they get the foil land and then I've seen some opened where they're not so it's unclear to me whether it's like one per box um, I know that even like typical sets it's meant to be one per box but sometimes you you just don't get one but most boxes oh shut up oh my god dude oh get out of here you just got oh man this this box was definitely meant for me this box was definitely meant for me <laughs> crocs a titan of death death's hunger in foil Whoo! yeah all right so i didn't read the first time but it's a red a black it's six six when it enters the battlefield uh, you sacrifice it unless it entered from escaping it. And then when it enters the battlefield or attacks, each opponent discards a card. Then each opponent who didn't discard a card loses three life. So you play him from like the command zone, and everyone probably just discards a card, which is great. But then it dies. But then you bring it back for two black and two red, and exile five other cards from your graveyard. Those are very easy things to do when you're in black red. And your opponents do it again it's just and then the next turn hopefully you get to untap with him and he attacks and they do it again. like oh man that is super i'm very very excited for you <laughs> oh and only slightly jealous but that's great nicely done sir nicely done and a woo strider and that lionfish All right. Can we keep it going? There's another foil phalanx. Oh, Temple of Plenty. In Zach's box, we were only able... We only pulled one... Um, one Scryland. That's weird. I'll have to watch that replay. Was that opened? Hmm. Mountain and Gallia. All right. Tentacle Island, Glimpse of Freedom, Storm's Wrath. This was probably a pretty good limited card, I'd, I'd guess. What am I doing? What is happening? All right. Man, Foil Croxa. Oh, that is so good. Phoenix of Ash. I wonder if... I don't think that's worth anything. I don't, you know, nor, so normally, guys, too, I should also mention that I typically add prices to my videos. Uh, if you're familiar with the channel, you you will you would have known that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do normally add prices to my, to my openings. I don't, however, for when I do box openings, like pre-release weekend and even um i sometimes i sometimes i do sometimes i don't oh another four but it's a it's a planes again i mean that's that's fine probably uh we opened a planes for zach too so two for two on the boxes and foil land and two for two on planes i mean yeah i don't, I don't know what to say <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet to open those in foil. Um, but yeah, so normally I, I add prices, but I don't like to do it on when it's this early in the set, just because it's it's like so pointless. I could put up whatever I put up by the next morning, or even by the time I get done editing the video and get it posted. The, the I mean, they're just gonna be wrong, and and you know, it's just it's just not worth. The, I'd rather get the video up faster and. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Shadow Spear. Yeah, I love these saga cards. They Wizards did a a thing where they were selling um, like banners of the art, and they looked really good. I didn't get any, but I kind of wanted some. Let's see, Hurex, Ox of Agonis. That's a mythic. That's couldn't possibly be good. <laughs> uh, Gray Merchant. Gary, as it were. All right. Let's see, forest underworld breach. Not great. 
Or is Underworld Breach the one that's... No, actually, I'm pretty excited about this one. This is each non-land card in your graveyard has escape. And then the escape cost is equal to the card's mana cost plus exile three other cards from your graveyard. And then at the beginning of your end step, sacrifice it. So you can just keep chaining cards together as long as you can get cards into your graveyard. Uh, ooh! <laughs> what? Oh, man. Uh, in the last video, I talked about how badly I wanted uh, some foil gray merchants, and here we are, Mark. You literally have opened my box. I'm just going to delete this, keep all the cards, and open some other box that will probably just have, like, foil euros and foil heliads in it. Oh, man. That is good. Foil Gray Merchant. It's probably only going to be worth a couple of dollars, but I think the original one's like 10 or something crazy like that. I certainly want to get some, though. Oh, shut up! What? Oh my god. Wow. Get out of here. Foil Constellation Thassa? Dude, this this is the box to end boxes. Like I, we just quit now, right? I mean, delete the video. Ah, uh, <laughs> so foil gray merchant, constellation Erebos, foil constellation Thassa. Shut up! Shut up! I mean. This is only the second box I've opened, so I suppose it could be that, like, these aren't that rare, but maybe every box has a... <laughs> I... has, like, a foil mythic or an alt art mythic or something? I, I mean, Zach didn't get a foil mythic, though, so... He did get that... He did get that Calyx. Uh, wow! Wow. He got Eidolon of Obstruction. That's a pretty good card. Oh my god. Shut up. What else are you going to pull out of this heater of a box? Thassa's Intervention. What does this one do? So this is part of that cycle. Uh, two blue, uh, an X, and then you choose one. Look at the top X cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Or you can counter target spell unless it's, its controller pays twice X. Huh. It's an instant, obviously. Um, yeah. All right. I kind of like it. Could be good. Probably not great. Wow. Wow. Foil Constellation Thassa. Get out. And a Pelucranos. Okay, there's another mythic. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six mythics. We still have a lot of packs to go. Oh, man. God, if you get a Euro or a Heliod on top of all this... I mean, Nyx Bloom... Okay, Nyx Bloom Ancient is the other card that I'm super, super high on right now. Dalakos, that's not great. It's like a dollar. Uh, and it'll be bulk, probably. Uh, but yeah, uh, what is it? Nyx Bloom Ancient is the other card I'm like super high on. I definitely want... I definitely want a Nyx Bloom Ancient. That's kind of nice. Oh, yeah, of course. Seb McKinnon. Of course it's nice. Seb doing uh, doing merfolk art now. The dead floating fish. She looks super sad. That's kind of cool. What is happening? I am all sorts of backwards. There we go. All right. I still can't even believe. Oh, shut up. What is this? I, I, whoo, yep, all right. I mean, sometimes you just open the boxes that have all of the good stuff. I mean, sometimes that's just, that's just what happens. <laughs> I, I can't even believe it. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep, seven. Okay, seven. Seven, seven mythic box, no big deal. Uh, Temple of Abandon, all right, all right. Wow, I like just don't want this box to end for you, man. I just, holy cow, this is in.
incredible. Storm Herald. If any of you are interested in having the box opened on the channel, send me an email, someofthepackageemail.com. I'm gonna be getting a, a whole nother wave of boxes in, so let me know. Oh, and then there's a foil rare protein thaumaturge. Thaumaturge. Uh, it's a blue, a colorless, 1-1 one, one constellation. Whenever an enchantment you control enters the battlefield, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you can have it become a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. If nothing else, the art is awesome, and Izzy is kind of awesome. Oh, there's a dried of the Elysian Grove. That's great. Uh, I'm also very high on that card. I certainly want as many of those as possible. Because I think I just put them in every green commander deck I have. Oh, uh, Heliod's Intervention. What's that one do? Destroy X target artifacts or enchantments or target player gains X. And that's kind of boring. Alright, last pack, man. Oh, God, if this is another mythic, I just... I just... I can't handle it. Oh, okay, it's just a, just a regular pro. But you did get a... So in Zach's box, we'd gotten two of these um, alternate constellation thingies. Well, I guess technically you did here too. Wow. I mean, this... I've only seen a couple of box openings, but this is certainly... This is certainly... I think this is the best one I've seen. I mean, between regular Thassa, uh, constellation, foil Thassa, foil Croxa. God, regular... Cro like... Wow, man, sometimes you just have all the luck. <laughs> sometimes people just have all the luck. But super fun to open. And then, of course, I'm going to send you all these super spicy land. All right, my friend. Thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you would like a box opened on the channel, send me an email. Details below. Have yourselves a great pre-release weekend. I think this might actually go up uh, Sunday morning, so... Squeeze in those last few events you can. Enjoy it. Pre-release weekend is always such a good time. It's not a core set either. Yay! <laughs> but have fun. Be respectful of your opponents. Be respectful of yourselves. And until the next one, my friends, I will see you later. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.